Turning now to a chance to experience food from several different countries. That is coming to San Diego. It is the 40th annual Ethnic Food Fair at the International Cottages in Balboa Park, and that's happening on Sunday. Here to tell us all about it is uh, the project manager, Sarah Wamley. Sarah, nice to see you. Good evening, Rafer. Thank you for having us. All right. So what are the countries that are going to be represented at this food fair? Wow, we are so thrilled that after two years waiting, we get to bring this large fundraiser to the public again. This is the 40th, and we have the House of Ukraine. We will have the Lebanon, Turkey, yay, Norway, Denmark, many, many others celebrating through their food and flavors, as well as entertainment. But this is also billed as the largest fundraiser of the year. Can you speak to that and what the purpose is behind that, the philanthropy aspect of this? Yes, Rafer. So it, it's our it's our one of second one of two December nights, which is very huge. But that's a whole part. This is our own individual fundraiser that we host. So all funds that we get to sell our items for. It goes back to their cottages. And after being closed for so long, many of us did not receive many donations. Mm. We do receive funds through our membership and then on the weekends. But this is an opportunity for us to really show the public who we are, what we do, so that we can put on programs, including language lessons, dance lessons for children and adults, as well as some of the summer, summer camps for children. And talk about the importance. I mean, this might be, uh, it might seem, I don't know, uh, kind of obvious, <laughs> but we as Americans can get very, um, you know, xenophobic or just isolated from other cultures. So talk about the importance of enriching yourself from these other cultures that you mentioned and why that's important, especially maybe with, with children. Yes, right. For, it is very important that we continue to share history and traditions with children as they grow up in this world where they get to choose more of what they see on television and through movies. This is a chance to get a hands-on experience with people from other parts of the world. And it's, it's really special every time I'm around those cottages to hear the various languages, which I feel inspires others to go out and want to journey afar and, and reconnect and accept some foreign exchange students having all of us come together so that we know how to live more cohesively and peaceful it is very special these cottages really thrive on that and it's not just food you're going to have live performances as well yes yes we have an outdoor stage it's completely free to come and sit on the lawn with your family and your friends we will have performances from 11 a.m until 6 p.m every 30 minutes from many different cultures singers, dancers, and more. And I love your mission statement, to harmoniously come together with international and cultural presence. Um, tell, tell us a little bit about the House of Pacific Relations and the work that you guys do. The House of Pacific Relations has been around for 88 years, Rafer. It is absolutely amazing. And so this is cottages that were built during when the Pan-American the pan, the, sorry, the, the canal opened and these cottages have gone through so many changes, but yet we are still here thriving with partnership with the city of San Diego. And so we have about 31 different cultures represented and we have a few more that have an interest. And, and we have nine new cottages to celebrate. And lastly, do you have a website people can go to if they want more information? Yes, absolutely. We do. It is sdhpr.org. And you can also find us on Facebook forward slash International Cottages. And anyone who cannot come out and support us, Rafer, we are happy to accept any donations. You can choose a culture of your choice through that website as well. And we would be happy for all the support so we can continue sharing through education and food and tradition. Sarah Womley from the House of Pacific Relations, thank you for coming on and talking about this exciting event on Sunday. It's an honor. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone.